In today's episode, I'm in a real Swiss village in the Alps uh, called uh, Grand Montana, and in today's video, I'm going to show what a real Swiss uh, resort village is uh, like, uh, where people come to ski and where many events are organized. And right now, I'm at the very center of this uh, village at an altitude of 1500 meters. <laughs> These are all vineyards and um, this is a valley and further behind the valley are mountains and behind the mountains is Italy and if you drive down this road you'll be in Milan in two hours. <laughs> Neighboring resorts Cran and Montana are situated high above Rhone Valley at an altitude of 1500 meters. Combined, they constitute one of the largest recreation spots in the Valle. Valle is a canton in the south of Switzerland. Mountain peak Mothenhorn is located here. It has a shape of pyramid and is known due to the Tabla Round chocolate brand. These two seemingly small cities can offer you a lot of other things, apart from the impressive view on the mountain range from Mothenhorn to Mont Blanc. In my opinion, Cran Montana is a perfect embodiment of an alpine village. There are all of the facilities of a modern resort, natural landscape and panoramic views. The modern part of Cran Montana has a lot of famous brand stores. Despite the fact that the village is located at an altitude of 1500 meters and it's not a big village, uh, you've got brand stores like uh, Prada, Louis Vuitton, Chopard, uh, Mont Blanc, you've got pubs and a huge number of restaurants and I was told that there are about 60 hotels but at the same time it's really difficult to book a hotel for uh, winter or just for a long-term period of time. Uh, the same applies to finding an apartment for one or two or three months uh, since everything is fully booked during uh, the skiing season. Such a chalet in the center of a resort city may cost about um, six millions of dollars. Major sports activities are held here, that's why the resort is active throughout the whole year. It has a reputation of mecca for golfers. Cremontana attracts visitors from all over the world, but the main reasons why people come here are to be alone with nature, walk along the windy network of forest hiking trails, swim in the five lakes and have a cozy dinner with fondue at a village restaurant. That's how a real traditional um, Swiss restaurant looks like, and here you must try um, fondue. Fondue means melted, so you need um, you need uh, cheese. Uh, it was formerly melted on a fire and then scrapped off, but uh, now there is a modern way. You know how to cook it, right? There are two big supermarkets, 10 minutes uh, to go to the first one and I guess a little bit more to the second. Uh, there are plenty of restaurants, an Italian restaurant, an um, international cuisine restaurant, a French restaurant, a lot of places, two pretty good Japanese restaurants. I chose uh, this school because a lot of my friends recommended it to me, I mean friends of my parents. Um, their kids uh, studied here and they told me that this is a good place. I'm now at the top of the school building and attic and there is an amazing library with a wonderful view of uh, the village. And uh, over there is a valley and mountains and on a good bright sunny day you can see Mont Blanc, the highest peak of the Alps. The school is run by private investors and by the municipality at the same time. It's a truly unique situation and I guess you understand that this affects um, the development of uh, the school and um, communication between school and the local society. The 
city has an interesting policy concerning snow. They never remove uh, snow uh, completely, but leave a small layer to make uh, the whole uh, village look like pure white. We're now driving with Matthew, my work colleague from uh, the school. He um, uh, stopped here to show me their street where restaurants are located. These are all restaurants. Over there is a five-star hotel. You can see from here it also has a restaurant where the walls made entirely of glass and views of the town, mountains and uh, the lake. Such small lakes are everywhere around the town. We've been shooting for the whole day and now it started to rain. We're really lucky. I want to highlight that La Region is more than just some international school. I think most of us have heard the phrase a sound mind in a sound body. And that's the idea many international educational institutions stick to nowadays, implying that physical education is as important as intellectual. La Region College goes even further. Classes are held not only inside the academic buildings, but also outside of them. Students are offered an open-air educational program, which is the core of the learning process, providing activities that inspire students, broaden their perspectives, and at the same time increase their resilience necessary both in their professional career and personal life. Many elements of the program are aimed at self-knowledge and raising awareness about the environment. I think there is no need to tell you about the main mountain leisure activities. But what about water skiing in Wake Park or ice skating at an indoor rink? And you definitely need to take part in one of the numerous cultural events this place can offer. It's hard to tell where the front side of the building is, because despite the fact that this is an exit to the inner courtyard, there is a wonderful terrace, a waterfall and then a lake of um, such beautiful turquoise color. What do they do here besides um, studying? Children at school go in for um, football, hiking, tennis, um, mountain biking. And of course, there are plenty of activities um, that uh, you can do right in the forest, such as walking and rock climbing. Uh, you can even go surfing here. There is a uh, surf uh, wave pool um, down this road where um, people can uh, do surfing. Audi holds uh, its events here where um, surfers and uh, skiers are invited. Um, they organize uh, shows uh, with tricks. And why is it held here? Why does Audi do it here? Because uh, from one side it's a um, kind of uh, secluded place um, uh, that is uh, like uh, you climb up the mountain to an altitude of 1500 meters, but at the same time there is everything here for organization of uh, such a serious event. I think we're pretty lucky as we start from uh, 1500 meter altitude and it goes up to 3000 meter altitude. We have a glacier. Most of it is facing south so you have nice conditions all year, I mean during all winter and it's very diverse. There is some very easy slopes, there is some much harder ones. We have a great snow park as well so I think it can suit for, for every user. So we're talking like a small city up the mountain. Okay, there is a bit less than 20,000 people living throughout the year. There is about 60 restaurants. So it goes from Japanese to Thai to Indian. So it's very diverse. We have a cinema open all year round with movies in English and in French. So yeah, it's like a small city. Yeah, population is multiplied by five. So it goes up to 70,000 people. It's really crowded. It's quite similar to other major uh, resorts in the, in the Swiss Alps or in the French Alps. It's very uh, buzzing and there is a lot of cultural events, there is a lot of parties obviously, a lot of uh, families are coming here to spend the, the winter as well. Yeah, there is some, some real estate projects, so there is a six senses opening a, a, a residence here, so it will be partially hotel and partially residence. Then it's, once again, it's, it's very, um, it attracts a lot of people because we have kind of everything here. Regarding shops, we have all the luxury brands which are present in Grand Montana. <laughs> Thank you.
A logical question comes to mind where to stay in Cram and Tana. Now, thanks to the fact that major various sports and cultural events are held here, there is a huge selection of distinctive and comfy housing. And trust me, every traveler will find something for himself among this wide range of good quality housing, starting from five-star hotels, by the way, even one six-star hotel is under construction, and finishing with guest houses in the style of a mountain hut, campings, chalet buildings and rental housing. Having visited both local restaurants and hotels, I noticed how they treat people. Whether you stay in a guest house or in a five-star hotel, whether you come to a small grocery store or to an expensive restaurant, you will be treated as a guest with the same warmth and the atmosphere will be friendly. A salesman, waiter or a receptionist will be deeply passionate about their craft. Locals say that Cramantana is a perfect starting point for a gastronomic journey across the world, except you don't need to go anywhere further. Every meal may become a change of location for you. At some place you'll find yourself in Lebanon or it can be Japan or Portugal. And of course there are two remarkable restaurants, Frank Reynolds Lures and Lemon Blanc of Le Cran Hotel and Spa. They both have a Michelin star. The school organizes um, educational trips um, to the United Kingdom or, for example, to the US so for its students where they visit different universities, which helps uh, them make a choice in uh, the future. Well, and uh, there are many other trips to the nearest cities and countries. So, for example, last week they were in Lisbon, Portugal, where they tried to uh, surf. And uh, this year they're planning a trip to Kenya. Well, I came to this school just a month ago, so I'm a newbie. I really like my room. We live uh, here with another girl, but sometimes we share the bathroom with the two other girls. We've got a kitchen and a gym, which we can use on a regular basis. It's a very convenient, just like at home. Well, it might be funnier in Geneva, but the school here is better since it's a boarding school and I like uh, the people here more. So, do you consider a boarding system as an advantage? Yes. But why do you think it's better to live in a boarding house? Because you can be more focused on the learning process and spend more time with your friends. We've got a salad bar with different salads, corn, tomatoes and cucumbers. There is always a fish or meat, a vegetarian food food, gluten-free products, uh, pastries and eggs for breakfast, and we've always got different yogurts. The school has a huge sports hall where you can do any kind of indoor sports, basketball, tennis, uh, volleyball, squash and um, dancing. Cremantana is full of history and traditions of the Vela region. You can visit various museums, numerous festivals, exhibitions and galleries, hear music from classical and folk to electronic. It's only been a few days of uh, summer and um, now they are preparing uh, to decorate everything with flowers. I was uh, told uh, that in just one week, uh, flower beds and houses, everything will be in flowers. 
And uh, just imagine, uh, there are um, golf courses here, and um, when the Europe um, Golf Tour uh, takes place, uh, sportsmen uh, come here with uh, children, with families. Um, a lot of people come uh, here to play golf, like European uh, champions, uh, world champions. And um, just uh, being here, you can easily... Um, see some uh, celebrities uh, who came uh, to watch championships or golf um, golf stars uh, themselves and it's really really safe here despite all of that here at an altitude of 1500 meters uh, there are electric charges and you can charge your tesla <laughs> This uh, valley, you can see it uh, to our um, right, um, and uh, it is considered to be one of the sunniest places in Europe. Farms are located uh, down here, where um, fruits are grown. People uh, produce a lot of goods here, plus uh, one of the best chocolates in uh, Switzerland. It's also produced here at a local chocolate factory, and as I was told, it's small and boutique and a famous Swiss uh, chocolatier lives here and makes uh, chocolate. Matthew here is um, originally from uh, Toulouse, uh, France, uh, but he's been living here in Cremontana for um, four years, and he says uh, that it's probably one of the friendliest places. It's a very popular tourist attraction but at the same time is small and kind of isolated uh, there is just everything um, here <music> a student community that's just over 200 at the moment. We're a growing school for sure and we have many different nationalities. We try to stick to a limit of about 10% of each nationality. We love having our students integrate and really learn English, learn French as well. So getting that mix is really nice. So we have students from all over the world, from Mexico, Russia, China, um, the UK and few of our local Swiss, so it's a really nice mix. So we accept boarders from the age of seven. Uh, we believe that that's kind of the youngest that we can maintain a really good family balance. That's really important for us as a school. And at that age, we just expect a, a willingness and a love of learning. That's really what we invite to this school. Um, moving on to the senior school, um, we are an IB school. We, we do the International Baccalaureate here, uh, which is quite a committing and demanding academic program. So what we anticipate from students at that point is you know, a commitment to their studies and ideas about their future to motivate them and really prepare them for the workload that that entails. But it's not all serious uh, studies here. We have a great expedition program. We are in the Swiss mountains. So we encourage students to come here with an open mind and be prepared to have experiences outside of, of school. The main building in which we've just been is located uh, here. Also, there is a uh, children's school and this is how it looks like. The territory of the school contains a uh, football field, uh, areas uh, for running, and, uh, and for rest, a basketball court and a um, kind of chill-out zone, as I call it, with uh, chase lounges, uh, trendy 
chairs and tables and then tennis uh, court right here. And by the way, if you need to go to the city center, then uh, you should walk in uh, this uh, direction for about 5-10 minutes.